This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 19, Functions, Part 9. Let's see what we have here. Write your own function. Time to practice writing functions of your own. This is a very simple game in which coins fall from the sky and the bunny tries to catch them. All you need to do is write a function that sets up the coin. Let's see what it does so far by clicking Run. Oh, okay. So we have a bunny and a coin. Okay, all right. Do this. Read the read and run the code. Oh, we already did that. That already exists, and make sure you know how it works. Write the code for the set coin function to make the coin fall from the sky. And notice set and then coins capitalized. You can go look at some of the previous levels if you need help. Um, this icon means the level is part of a larger project. Changes will be saved across these levels. Okay, so we need to write the code for the set coin function to make the coin fall from the sky. Got it. All right, let's see what we have here. Okay, so we have our variable coin, right? We create this variable. We started at 210 up here. We set the coin animation to be coin gold one, which is what this is, coin gold one. Oop, we already said, yep. And then, oh, here we are. This is our function call. A function call is when we ask the computer, hey, computer, run the set coin function, and the computer starts looking for it. Uh, nope, this is draw. That's not what I want. Where's, oh, there's set coin. But there's nothing in here, so the computer doesn't have anything to run. So it hits this, and it says, okay, I'll run it. Oh, done. It's empty. Goes back here and starts running all the other stuff. Hits draw, and then starts running that. So we need the coin to fall from the sky. All right, well, if it needs to fall, let's see here. We'd probably want to change set coin sprites y velocity, and let's look at our grid here. So y is 0 up here, and if I go down, y is increasing. It's kind of weird, but way down here, look at this. It's 0, 400. The 400 is the y. And it's zero up here. So y increases as you go down on the code.org grid. So we would want to add to the y velocity. So let's make it positive. Let's give it a positive one velocity, right? And then it will be going a speed of one, which is positive. So it should be going down, we believe. There's nothing called sprite though, right? We called our sprite coin. So let's go ahead and write coin. And let's see what happens. Seems a bit slow though. Let's try two. It's a bit better, maybe three even. Okay. The coin falls in the sky. Yep. All right. So um, I'll call three good. We might want it a bit faster, but that's good for me. We have it falling with our velocity, and our function is called up here. So it uh, it's all working so far. Let's keep going.